on number 27. Patrick, how disheartened were you? Tell me about the pain you felt. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> therapy still hasn't worked. Oh, still yeah. going. Let me taste your tears. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But it was it was very difficult. But the, the the one great thing about it, the one thing that I could take away from the fact was that the Phillies obviously have a great team. Um, I knew that they would be back again. They were, um, you, you know, they, they, they. Let's put it this way: they're they're going to be back again. I'm not too concerned about it. Um, you know, they're they're built for the long haul uh, for many years to come. Uh, and I, as as a Phillies fan, diehard, I was happy to see Cliff Lee come back. As a as a you know a Yankee fan at, at the same time, I was very very disappointed to see Cliff Lee uh, not sign with the Yankees because I would like to see the Yankees are great for baseball. When they do well, they're great for baseball. Revenue, ratings, the whole nine yards. I don't care what anybody says. Red Sox, Yankees, Red Sox, uh, Phillies, Yankees, Phillies. They're all great for baseball when they're all doing well. When they're not doing well, it's not a great time. So. Um, you know, to see one of the big three teams land, Cliff Lee was actually good for baseball. How good, yeah. Good for baseball, bad for us, unfortunately. Look uh, at the baseball Philadelphia. guys, by the way. <laughs> yeah, by the way, it's Super Bowl Eve. And you guys just... why, why we got in the baseball? Because <laughs> of Paul. Because yeah, of Paul. for talking about baseball before. <laughs> well, i got to say, this goes to show you the power of baseball, that baseball in New York City has knocked the Super Bowl off the front page. He's the right. Daily News, the Post, it's like the Super Bowl doesn't even exist. He's right, because Andy Pettit with the big retirement this week. And the Will Ponds uh, are thieves. It just, <laughs> <laughs> it just That's a mess right there. I mean, the mess, they're, they're just an absolute mess. And, and obviously everything, you know, a Andy Pettit was a, was a great uh, a pitcher. I mean, great postseason pitcher, borderline Hall of Fame numbers. And, uh, but at the same time, he was one of the core four. And so for when, he, you know, when he retires, one of the big, when a Yankee retires like that, it's, it's, it's big news in New York. Absolutely, and across the country. Patrick, let's get into the Super Bowl, but, but Absolutely. before we go to the game, let's talk a little bit about the location of the Super Bowl. We're here in sunny South Florida. You're in Phoenix, sunny Phoenix. Yeah. How in the world did Roger Goodell make this mistake by putting the Super Bowl in Dallas in 17-degree weather? And on top of that, we're sending people to the hospital with ice killer icicles falling off the top of uh, that monstrosity they've built in Arlington. Right. I, I just don't get it. I think it's going to be an epic fail. The game, yeah, but everybody knows the Super Bowl is much more than a game. It's right. about the festivities leading up to it, the parties, all the things and that happen. It's, it's the going week. to get worse the next two years in Indianapolis and New, in New York. York. I, yeah, I can't imagine. You know, I, if, well, let, let's put it in context for for just a brief second. If you look at historic, historically the weather in, in, in Dallas and the, in the Metroplex area around this time, it's not usually this bad. So this is really an anomaly that's going on right now across the country. Even Goodell kind of touched on it a little bit yesterday when uh, he had his state of the NFL address and press conference. <laughs> so when when you know when you look at it, typically the weather usually isn't this bad in Dallas. Thankfully, Jerry World has a retractable roof so that you know the big HD TV doesn't get snowed on. Um, so you know internally the game's going to be great, like you said. It's bad though for a lot of businesses because. Being out here when the uh, Super Bowl was here, uh, Patriots Giants a few years ago, I was I attended, and there are a lot of parties, a lot of festivities, not just Thursday through Sunday. These things stretch to the weekend before. Now, are a lot of the fans in town at that point in time? No, but some of the diehards will go on a vacation. If you, you know you're in sunny South Florida, or if you're in Phoenix like I am, um, if you're in uh, you know even L.A. If it was New back at the Rose Bowl. People would turn that into a vacation when their team goes. Um, Dallas, not so much. I think a lot of the people were coming in uh, more towards the weekend. Uh, you know, recession reasons. It, it, Dallas isn't really a resort kind of a town, a, a vacation area like you know the areas that we're in. Um, but I understand why Goodell did it as well too. You know, you build that monstrosity of Jerry World, and you want to showcase it. You want to. You want the world to see one of the greatest stadiums in the world, one of the great stages that the NFL can be on, and it will be on a great stage tomorrow. However, unfortunately, uh, the weather did impede a lot of the local businesses, the ones that actually strive and, and think that they're going to see a spike in their business during Super Bowl week and during Super Bowl festivities. Unfortunately, that didn't happen this time around.
Patrick Gallagher of the D-League.com with us here on the Joe Costello Show. I, I look at it like this. First of all, I totally disagree that it's going to be an epic fail. And I do think that if you're going to spend a billion four on a stadium, you've got to have the Super Bowl there. And Dallas is uh, America's team, and so they should be highlighted. So I have no problem with it being in Dallas. I think it should be in Dallas. I love the idea of it being in Dallas. And the weather, yes, they did uh, unexpectedly uh, kind of ruin things. What bothers me is that we here in South Florida were kind of called on the carpet of the NFL and threatened, frankly, a city that has had the Super Bowl and many great Super Bowls here in South Florida. And I'm sorry, in the 70s, South Florida was considered as the permanent home of the Super Bowl. Had Miami done some things to their stadium, and maybe that hadn't changed. But the old-timers will tell you that there was talk of making South Florida the permanent home of the Super Bowl. Nobody parties better than us. No one has got better and more as much as there's great things to do in Dallas. There's more to do here. We've got the beach. We've got uh, the clubs. We've got... The casinos now. We've got everything. And to have the NFL... In all three, in all three counties, if you really think Everywhere. About it. And to have the NFL last year say, you know, we might not be able to put the bowl back there unless you do some things to the stadium to uh, effect that you might not get rained on ever, and then have the next Super Bowl in an area that doesn't normally have weather get snowed on and ruin everything. I'm sorry, it has been ruined. The week of the Super Bowl has been ruined. Guys had icicles uh, fall on them and nearly kill them. Right. It just makes the NFL look a little... It was unnecessary is all. I think if people down here well, took offense to that, that they want us to spend, by the way, public money. The Dolphins go right to Broward County and they want $250 million of public money during a recession when teachers are being laid off to what, build a roof on the stadium just in case it rains, maybe, sometimes? No, I, I, that's, that, that was offensive, and that's why everyone is bothered. And to, to your point, I think, it's, I think it's a slap in the face because Miami and South Florida have been, um, you know, a great host whenever um, a Super Bowl has been there. And to be honest with you, do we, do we all want to see a clean Super Bowl? We would love to all be able to see a clean Super Bowl. So what that the, you know, the Colts and the Bears got rained on a couple of years ago? No big deal. But they're being hypocritical by saying, Miami, you have to improve things in order for you to get a Super Bowl back. But yet, hey, we'll build this monstrosity up in New York, uh, you know, in the Meadowlands, North Jersey, without a roof. We're going to have an outdoor Super Bowl, and we could have lizard-like conditions. We could have snow. We could have just really bad conditions. I would rather I would rather see rain over a snowy fo- uh, uh, Super Bowl, to be honest with you. So I think the NFL once again is being hypocritical uh, in, in in what they've done to Miami. Right, and uh, actually, in the styles uh, of both these teams, and the and where these both these teams are used to playing, the weather shouldn't bother them at all. They're used to it. If, if that if that dome is open or if it's closed, these guys can play anywhere. You know, the the you know, uh, even though. Um, the, the Steelers kind of rely on that ground game a lot more than a lot more, yeah. um, you know the, the Packers do because the Packers ground game kind of like the Eagles at their height when they went to the five uh, NFC Championship games. Their running game are the, is the screen pass. Okay. Right, well, yeah, cause Starks pretty much, yeah. That's I mean, he he, he did okay in, the, in, the, in a few postseason games, but yeah, the, the short passes and the slants is how the Packers get the, their yardage, the short yardage. That's exactly how they do it, and, and and the Eagles used to do the same thing, and that's how they would actually set up their pass, and they oh, would yeah, set up the, the deep play. Used to kill the Giants. I'm a Giant fan, by the way. How does <laughs> how does a, and uh, Philadelphia Philadelphia and Pittsburgh? That's like it's like New York City and Buffalo, right? It might as well be in Canada, Pittsburgh. There's no kind of a rivalry, intense rivalry or affiliation to uh, another Pennsylvania team, right? No, there's no rivalry whatsoever. Um, if anything, you know. The, at times, people will say, oh, I hate Pittsburgh, just because they they say it just to say it, because it's <laughs> the second city in, 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 in Pennsylvania. Kind of, like you said, New York and Buffalo. No, there's no rivalry there. Nobody really cares. Um, sometimes you will have uh, Philadelphia fans pull, for, pull this, for the Steelers, not necessarily for the Penguins. Now, you want to talk about a rivalry, Flyers, Penguins, there is hatred there. Steelers, Eagles, nobody really cares too much about, you know, those two teams. We hardly see each other except for in preseason. Patrick Gallagher of the D-League with us here on the Joe Costello Show.